Hello everybody and welcome to the red carpet here at the rather magnificent Patch Thebo Auditorium. If you can imagine this is the kind of warm-up event, the part before the huge event itself which of course is Miss Virtual World 2012. I'm going to be your eyes and ears if you can imagine that with all the guests that are going to be teleporting in here and I know that we're expecting some uh, incredibly glamorous people here today on the red carpet ahead of the actual contest itself so uh, just want to welcome you all really as you can imagine Miss Virtual World is a rather huge event here in SL it is without doubt you know the most glamorous beauty pageant on the grid it's been going on for months lots of preparation thousands of people involved behind the scenes so sit back relax get something alcoholic maybe and enjoy it so over the next 30 minutes we're just going to be doing some warm-up and with me is a co-host a lady who knows what being in Miss Virtual World is all about very well because she was actually in last year's Miss Virtual World contest as Miss Ireland and that is Carolyn O'Hare hiya Carrie can you hear me Hello, Persia. I can hear you. Can you hear me? Hear you great, honey. Now, backstage, we'll be talking to some later as well. So, um, we've got loads of people arriving here already. It's two minutes past nine in the morning. SLT. I already got B Dumplin next to me. I can see Colton Dressler, Zanadu Dumano, and of course, Vita Bella Dubrovna. Wow. So some huge names here already and i also know that there's plenty of other people arriving on sim and i'm going to be grabbing some of these interviews with some of these people as well okay well i'm going to talk to someone now uh somebody who isn't a miss i don't think <laughs> at least in his real life <laughs> it's actually one of the performers here today and it's a guy by the name of tyrell now Tyrell, as you'll see later on, he's going to be doing a performance for, for us later on. Are you actually here? Can you hear me okay? Uh, yes, I can. A bit broken, but I hope hopefully we'll be able to get through this. <laughs> thank you for joining me because I know you're very busy at the moment. But well, thank you for this having is me. Your... Oh, you're very welcome. A pleasure to have you here on the red carpet. Do you want to tell me a little bit, please, Skype, about the Skype type of you. show that you're going to be doing here today? Thank you. When uh, Frolic first approached me, uh, he had seen some of my work, some of my personal particle performance work uh, that I've been doing recently over at the uh, Linden Endowment for the Arts. And he approached me with the idea that uh, I would do a performance that would sort of be in the style of what is known as the Blacklight Theater in Prague. And for those who aren't familiar with it, um, it is essentially a form of theater that is done on a completely black uh, draped stage. And the performers uh, are able to move objects around which are neon colored and make it appear very magical. And he thought that my particle work might be uh, a really good fit to try and do something in that style. And so I did a little research on it and I looked into it and over the course of several weeks have developed a performance that I think will sort of pay homage to something like that and yet at the same time remain unique to uh, particle work as it appears in Second Life. That's amazing. Frolic Mills, uh, to be fair to the guy, you know, it isn't just beauty that he appreciates in Second Life. He's a big, uh, he's a big supporter of the arts too. Uh, so it's, it's great to have some art here today as part of the whole Miss Virtual World show because we have a massive audience. We literally have thousands of people watching every year. So it just means that SL Art gets a whole new audience. Well, I'm very honored to be taking part in this, and Frolic has been tremendously supportive. And uh, I'm looking incredibly forward to uh, having this performance go off and hopefully having fun with a lot of people uh, in, this, in the uh, audience. And uh, let's see how it goes and make sure that the lag stays at bay. <laughs> fine. Praise the Linden gods. It'll all be fine. <laughs> Terrell, thank you very much join me for a quick chat here on uh, the red carpet and I know you've got lots of technical stuff to do 
Well, thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure, and uh, let's ha hope for a really special day. Thank you, Rain. Uh, I'm going to hand over to Carolyn O'Hare in a minute, who I believe has got <laughs> one of the Miss, Miss Virtual World contestants ready, lined up to be grilled backstage. Are you there, Carrie? I am here, and I am backstage still. We are trying to get one of the contestants, but we've had a little glitch trying to get her connected. Um, but hopefully within the next couple of minutes or so, we will have her. That's okay. I tell you what we'll do. I'm going to use this opportunity, actually, because do you know what, Carolyn? Uh, Miss Virtual World, it's huge in Second Life. But mm -hmm. um, there's an awful lot of people as well who aren't in SL that actually watch this contest every year without fail. So I think it's only fair <laughs> to say hello to some of those people. Have you got anyone watching real life, Carrie, today? Do you know? Um, actually, I do have a few people that will be watching um, uh, from the office where I work. And so I would like to say um, a special little hello out there to um, Patty and Donna and um, Alex, who I think is watching today as well. Um, I don't think that they were expecting me to be hosting today, but here I am. So this is a big surprise for them. <laughs> yeah, it, it's always fun trying to explain to real life friends, you know, <laughs> about your virtual career, if you like. Right. I just, it's, it's always fun. I know that I've got some friends watching in London too right now. So hello to everyone. I also want to give actually a big shout out to a very special lady um, called Lee. Her name is Lee and she's listening in from North Carolina <laughs> in real life uh, and she's actually the mom of one of the contestants today, uh, Michaela, Michaela Bonazzi who's Miss USA and she hasn't been very well and she's making the effort Aww. to listen in. So a big shout out to Lee. Oh yes, we wish her the best. Uh, also Rob in California, I know that Rob in California <laughs> Is a big fan and he's going to be listening and watching and also obviously carry to everyone on metaverse tv because we're streaming live and also everyone on sims here at patch Thiebel. and also to the hundreds of people that have viewing parties across second life every single year miss virtual world viewing parties do you know about those carrie Oh, I do, and they absolutely are popular um, all over the grid, and I know there's one very big one at the Basel Country Club, and there's a giant television screen there, and I'm sure there's <coughs> going to be a lot of people there watching, so I'd just like to say hello to everyone out there. These girls, they, they, they have to work extremely hard, but they're also an ambassador, if you like for the whole Miss Virtual World, the whole Bustle brand. Um, like Serene Faith, for instance, the, the still reigning Miss Virtual World. She is still Miss Virtual World at the moment. Um, she's been a fantastic ambassador, wouldn't you agree? Oh my goodness, you know, I've known Serene. Um, she just happens to be my very closest friend in SL. Um, I met her um, two years ago, uh, a little over two years ago, when we were both fledgling models, and um, we just forged a bond together. And it, it was so fun last year to be able to go through the competition with your best friend. Um, it was just a very special experience, and um, her heart is about as big as it can be. She is <laughs> just such a beautiful person on the inside and the outside. and. Um, watching her win last year, it, it was just, I was so proud of her and so happy. We were in Skype together, actually, uh, during the entire competition last year. And so I was able to share that moment, you know, when her name was called out. And uh, it was wonderful. It was just very, very uh, special. And she is uh, an amazing person. She has accomplished so much this year during her reign. And... Um, uh, we were very blessed to find her and to have her here with us. Well, there's another amazing 30, 31 contestants this year. They're all great. We've got to know them over the past few weeks. And I do believe you now have one of them ready to talk to you, Carrie, backstage. Let's go backstage. 
and I think Paulina is there, ready to have a chat with us. Paulina, hello. Hello. Hello, Paulina. Um, I have with me Paulina Lafarve, and she is Miss United Kingdom. Welcome. Thank you very much. Um, Paulina, I wanted to ask you, I guess, first of all, the big question is, how are you feeling right now at this moment? Are you nervous? Are you excited? Are you dying? Are you happy? Um, tell me a little bit about what's going through you right now um, as, as you're about to go on stage today. Okay, I am in a cocktail of uh, mixed emotions, a little bit bittersweet emotions. I'm so glad I'm here, this is the final, but I'm so sad because it's so... I'm, I'm really excited. I'm not nervous. I will be nervous the moment that I have to, to go to the stage, but uh, so far I'm really, really cool. <laughs> Well, you look amazing. I'm, you know, standing here with you looking at your beautiful, beautiful national costume. So I'm sure the audience is just going to uh, uh, love to see you when you come out there. Um, let me ask you this, Paulina. Um, what has been the best part of this competition for you so far? What have you uh, enjoyed as you went through this process? Well, the best part of all is to get to know all the people that I, I really know. Um, the other candidates, designers, organization, people that I thought uh, a little bit like a god. And I realized that they are so humble, they are so, so nice to you, they, they really want to help you, they really want you to improve. I think all the candidates, they are great ladies. Uh, we really have a really good, good, good um, feeling among all the candidates. And I feel that is very, very nice. Yes, I, I would totally agree with that as well. Um, what will you remember the most um, from being in this competition? What do you think that you will take away with you? Uh, when you um, when you wake up and it's all over, um, what will be the memories that you will treasure the most from from going through this process? I think the, be the um, one of the moments I will cherish forever will be the moment that I realized I was one of the finalists um, when I was on the casting and. Um, I will keep all the advices and all the um, the, the jokes and uh, the um, the excitement of being a part of this of this event and this is a big event for all the reasons and made with great uh, people and for great people and um, this is all that I will keep as an experience to my life in second life because. Um, as a model, I have learned, and I think that um, the things that I learned will help me a lot. Absolutely. I wanted to ask you um, one other thing. Um, I know that the Miss has had several uh, various styling challenges throughout these last few months. Um, tell us a little bit about what your very favorite one was and why. I think my favorite challenge so far was the painter writer challenge mm -hmm. um, because it, it was like a, a little bit like a free challenge and you can show a part of you of um, the things you like and um, the things that touch you by doing this challenge. This is what. Okay, Paulina, um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up with you. Thank you so much for giving us your time. Um, and I appreciate your, your talking to me. I, I know you have a lot going on and you're still getting ready. So I do want to thank you um, and uh, wish you the very, very, very best. Thank you so much. And I wish you all the best to all the candidates also. Thank you. And now back to you, Persia. Hey, Carrie. Thanks very much for that. That was a really insightful interview, I think, with one of the ladies. You know, finding out a little bit yes. more about what it's like, the fun, <laughs> the highs, the lows. But um, she sounds very positive, and I think 
all of the contestants, a fun bunch of ladies as well. So, I am now joined on the red carpet by two of Second Life's top designers, two of the top fashion designers in SL, and they are also real life fashion designers too. And that is, of course, Vita Bella Dubrovna and Precious Restless from Vita's Boudoir. Hi, Vita. I think you're with me in Skype. Can you hear me? Uh, well, I'm great. Good evening uh, to all from Croatia. And uh, I must say I'm quite happy to, to be here with you tonight as well with my sister. And I think we are, we will all really enjoy this this evening and this this really beautiful competition really it's important. <laughs> it's about as glamorous as second life events come isn't it really miss virtual world yes i think so yes yes uh we were working on these goals we had to uh really really beautiful girls we were making uh, a national costumes for them and also Precious did uh, a gown for Skyly and for Aphrodita. So <laughs> we, we came here to support especially those two ladies, but also all contestants. And we are looking forward to this. You, uh, that's true. You've actually made quite uh, two, two gowns for two of the ladies this year, and they are unique very unique gowns just like your real life creations and it, it's it's lovely having a real life fashion designer in second life as well to talk to um it's fascinating uh, what are the what are the differences vita between second life and real life is it easier in second life to create well i i would say it's it's the same uh pro process but uh, with uh, with different tools we use here and everything we want to create or you know sometimes you have some ideas and you're just not able to to create it in in real life and then you can come in second life and if your idea is capable to be created and to be made here so it's really something yeah, SL is fantastic. A great canvas for the imagination. And as a fashion designer, you must really enjoy that. Um, going back to Second Life and Miss Virtual World, I know that you've been uh, a supporter for a number of years now of Miss Virtual World. You've, you've designed dresses before. What do you most enjoy about the whole Miss Virtual World occasion, the whole event, Vita? I think it's it's the the best things uh, that uh, uh, every every girl showed up uh, really unique uh, goals and the national costumes and there is uh, a such of effort of so many people involved in complete project uh, all designers uh, who who makes uh, so many new unique goals so i think that that is maybe the the best part uh, because I think most of the people expect what will see, you know, new, new, new creations, new costumes, and I think that is the most interesting part of, of it. It really is. And every year we all think, okay, how can this get any more glamorous? How can it get better? How can it get bigger? How can Frolic Mills outdo himself next year? But he always manages to do that. Uh, so, it's a fantastic event. Vita, thank you, and also to Precious, your sister, thank for you. joining Thank you for joining, joining me. The white kiss. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of kisses. Kisses to all, yes, from us too, from Croatia. Bye. <laughs> Bye, Croatia. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Okay. <laughs> well. Can you believe we're already 25 minutes into this red carpet event? And, I cannot. Uh, the time is flying by. I know. And it, it does. It does. It flies by every single year. And um, I'm going to hand back to you now, Carrie, because you have once again, I think, gone backstage yes. and got one of the ladies, haven't you? Yes, I am back here now 
with Rusalka Callisto, and she is our Miss Russia. Hello, Rusalka. Rusalka is our uh, Miss Russia, as I said. Thank you for joining us backstage here. I know you have a lot of last-minute details that you're attending to, so I do appreciate your time, Rusalka. Um, I would like to know how you're feeling right now. Um, how does your stomach feel? Are you okay? Um, are you about to faint? Are you nervous? <laughs> how do you feel? <laughs> you know, I'm actually doing wonderful. Um, there's so many amazing ladies that I can't even conceive of being one of the top 12 at this point. Um, so I'm just kind of enjoying the ride and having a good time uh, hanging out with all these beautiful women. Yes, it is. It's, you know, it's so much fun for me just to be back here and seeing all of these beautiful, beautiful national costumes and yours included. It's just, it's amazing. I love it. Um, uh, let me ask you this. Um, what have you found to be uh, the most memorable experiences during your time uh, in, pre in preparing for this uh, competition? Um, what, what, special memories will you take when you leave here today? Honestly, the best memories are of the people. Um, I've met so many amazing uh, ladies um, and gotten to know them. I think they'll be friends forever. Uh, we're such a close-knit group, I think, and um, just hanging out with them, talking, trading, styling tips, shopping, it's just been amazing and also getting to talk to Serene and in her little group chats and giving us encouragement um, it, it's just been amazing yes that's wonderful um, I also wanted to ask you this I asked Paulina this um, uh, you were all of the ladies here were involved in a lot of various different styling um, challenges uh, oh that goodness. had to be met um, what was your favorite one and why Honestly, my favorite one was the, uh, the Trey Bow challenge where we uh, took two of her designs and we just ripped them up and put them back together and made our own creation out of them. That's the kind of styling that I absolutely love to do. Um, and I just, I got such a kick out of doing that and seeing her reaction to all the, uh, Kamira's different reactions to all the different looks. It was great. Oh gosh, yes, I remember that was that was wonderful. That was for the press presentation, and uh, you wouldn't think you could get that many looks out of something, but boy, every single person was really, really different. Um, that was a lot of fun. Um, I'd like to ask you one more question, if I may. Sure. Um, what advice would you give for? I know there's probably a lot of of ladies out on the grid. Um, who uh, are thinking about trying out for this competition perhaps next year or maybe who have tried previously and haven't gotten in and will come back and try again next year. Um, what advice would you like to give them all about uh, entering this competition? I think most important is to be true to yourself and representing who you are um, as a person. When I originally started modeling I was trying to be this this avatar personality that wasn't really me. I was red haired and, and uh, I was trying to be so diva and all that. And it just wasn't me. When I reverted to who I am kind of in real life is when I started really becoming successful in modeling and in competitions and eventually being part of Miss Virtual World. Great advice, Rusalka. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time. Um, I wish the very, very best to you. Um, good luck, and thank you for thank uh, you. for speaking with us today. Thank you so much. Carrie, thank you very much for that. <laughs> oh, that Rusa, was wonderful. Yes. Rusa sounded quite relaxed. Yes, she? she really, really did. Well, I am, of course, looking forward to the Parade of Nations because... Um, uh, it's well, of course, the set is amazing. The set was made by Nish Mip, uh, an award in winning artist in Second Life, and she's also serving as one of our judges today. Um, and it was based on the uh, It's a Small World theme, the Disney, the Walt Disney It's a Small World. Um, it's an amazing set, and when these ladies come out in their national costumes, it, it's going to be 
spectacular, um, as well as uh, the opening uh, entertainment that we have. Um, we have the Dazzler Dancers. We have um, Particle Show. I mean, it's going to be truly spectacular to view. It really is. It's more than just the beauty and the lovely girls this year. There's there's a whole lot of entertainment going on too, and there's a big party afterwards too, which Yay! I'm looking forward to. We can get drunk at that point, can we? Absolutely, got, we can. Yeah, I've got the wine ready for that. I have a, a nice bottle of uh, Merlot waiting for me here, yes. And I have Chablis on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm going to be having the whole bottle. I think I shall be having mine as well, Persia. I will have to join you in that. Okay, well... We're there. We're just after half past nine SLT. I can't manage to get hold of the lovely electric gasman. I'm yes, hoping. She's having a few problems. I think it's SL Gremlins. That is par for the course, I'm afraid, sometimes here. Um, but, well, let me ask you, Persia. Um, what part of this are you looking forward to the most today? Apart from the bottle of Chablis on ice? Uh, oh, the bottle of Chablis. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apart from that, um, well, you know, it's always fun, you know, and, and obviously the winner too. So, oh, Electra, are you there? Are you there now? Hello. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao. <laughs> Ciao. It's so hard. <laughs> Just have a Okay. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I've literally got to wrap this now because we're over time. But uh, thank you for joining us, Electric Gaussman, Orange Creations. <laughs> I'm very happy to be here. At least you can go and relax now. Go and take your seat in the audience and go and chill out. All right. Thank you, Ellie. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. Live TV in both lives. It's always like this. That's right. So, <laughs> it's always like this. Well, we're going to take a short break of about 30 minutes, just under 30 minutes, and then we're going to be back with the main event, which is, of course, Miss Virtual World 2012. Stay tuned. <laughs>